Good morning. I mean, good evening. <laughs> Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you tonight? So good. Okay, okay, okay. Bon dia. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Okay, guys, um, so how many are we right now? We're 10, today is Thursday and it feels like Friday, right? You feel, don't you feel like Friday? Okay. Yeah. Um, I have 11 people and I only see four or five cameras on. Wow, okay, let's turn on your cameras and let's start the class, please. Remember, cameras on, full name on your screen. Okay, we are 12. Okay, start the class, guys. You don't need me, start the class. Show me how you do it, come on. How are you? How was your day? Oh, it was great, awesome. What did you do today? How's the weather? Come on, icebreakers. You know what is an icebreaker? Yeah. Yeah, so use icebreakers. Let's go. <laughs> it's the first step. <laughs> it's the first step. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, people. How are you? Hi, Alexander. Fine. So you? Good. I'm doing good. Um, and did, you finish, did you finish the homework for this week? Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, yeah, I finished my homework. Okay. I, I have started the first part for the final exam? Three, <laughs> three point or the four? No, final exam, I don't remember. Mm. Four, I don't know. But yeah. the first part. Yeah, yeah, it's the uh, three. Yeah. Three point nine is the last. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. An automatic machine or container which is designed to release a specific amount of something. Hmm. What? An automatic machine or container which is designed to release uh, a specific uh, amount of something. Psh, psh, psh. Sensor. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> a substance such as mud or dust. Uh, dirty or oh, dirt. Dirt. Yeah, dirt. come on. Good. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's see, Sabrina. Take customer order. Oh, but, well, here you have to put in order what comes first, right? The steps. What goes first? To, to take the customer's order or to confirm the order? Mm, no lo entiendo. What comes first when a waiter <laughs> receives a customer? What is first? Does the waiter take the customer's order first or confirms the order? Number take. one. Or two. Take, take. The, yeah. take the customer's order is the first step and the second one, confirm the order. It makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Why? Why? <laughs> you were right. <laughs> That's the first part of the final exam. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Challenge. 
Acuérdense que ajá, el challenge, no, el área principal de oportunidad de todo este grupo es final sounds. Everybody, final sounds. Um, decía Sabrina una palabra al principio, se me fue. Y Alexander, de hecho, la, la, lo corrigió. Oh, did you finish? Did you finish? Finish? No sé. Uh -huh. Did you finish? I'm aware. Your homework, right? Yeah, Alexander did it right. Excellent. Okay, you see, you can speak already. So, and that's all we, we have to do. Don't worry. Okay. I don't know who is coming with Miguel from Usulutan. Oh, oh, Reina. Okay. Okay. So let's start checking your attendance and then we will move on. Okay. Because we have some presentations, remember? We have some presentations still pending. So, okay. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Reportó enfermo. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Fernando Ernesto, yeah. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present teacher. Excellent. Be careful. Miriam Carolina yeah. Mozo Valdez. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Let me see if Robert is here. Not today, okay. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn was around, wasn't she? No, I don't see her. Okay. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Okay. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Presente, teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, José Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present, teacher. Good. Okay. 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 Let's do it. So, who was missing yesterday? Okay, Isela, it's okay. Thank you for letting me know. So, who was missing yesterday to show their work that you did together yesterday? To present your schedule. Me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The stage is yours. I can I share the screen? Okay. Let me see this. Um, so what is my group? I think Renee is driving, but Sabrina is here. So if you want, you can do the half, half both. Be careful, Renee. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Well, um, this is special. This from August second, from August eighth, and we are for no, we are we are there are for us in this schedule. Mm, okay. The first one is Alexander. Alexander, they, he has to work from 
7 a.m. to 3 p.m. from Tuesday to Friday because Monday is is his day off and Sabrina has to work to 7.30 to 3.30 because she is a secretary and she has to work from Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sunday she has a vacation. Mm, okay. Now Sabrina is going to explain about it. Come on, continue you, please. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Come okay. on, Sabrina. The schedule uh, about Alan is he works from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. I don't know what is quality. Oh, whatever. Um, from Monday mm, and Tuesday and Wednesday, he has day off. And uh, let me see. Okay. And Rene, he works from a.m. to p.m. He, he is a cashier. He has break and, and 11, 11, 30 a.m. And he has two, two day off in the vacation in the week and Saturday and Sunday eh, he has vacation and that's it that's it yeah very good you see that looks good okay so Alexander from August 2nd from August 8th from to from to to 7 30 to 3 30 um from 7 30 a.m to 3 30 p.m a.m or p.m right so always okay. mention it good um sabrina schedule about alan alan's schedule this is algo que le decía ayer le mandé todo esto a isela permítanme just a minute okay there we go okay so, algo les decía utilizar los nombres posesivos. El nombre apóstrofe S. Acuérdense de eso, revisen eso. Ya les voy a enviar un videito al grupo para que se apoyen y estudien. Recuerden eso de los nombres posesivos. Alan's schedule goes from... Yeah, el horario de Alan va de lunes a martes, a la tal hora. Ok. Wednesdays. Otra vez, Wednesdays, his day off. Okay, digo Wednesday, apóstrofe S, is his day off. Okay, um, let's see, René, he works, I, so, dos cosas, uno, ya dije René, no necesito decir he, o digo he works. Okay, o digo René works, o digo René, o digo he works. Y el sonido de la K, works, works. Okay. Acá, works. Ok. He has two days off. He has two days off. He has two days off. La pluralización ahí. Very good. Ok. Who's next? Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Question. Yes. Is correct to say there are for us or we are for? Again, they for are. Example, they mm -hmm. are four of us, or we are four. We are four. We are four. There are four of us in the class. There are four of us in the class. Hay cuatro de nosotros en la clase. There are okay. four of us in the class. As you see, mm, we are four. Yeah, somos cuatro. 
Okay. I get we're four in the class. We're four in the group. Okay. Who's next? Who else was missing yesterday? Mm, okay, not a problem. Don't worry, let's continue. So, <clears throat> so yesterday we talked about schedules and believe it or not, this is a very important topic um, in any company. I mean, everybody has schedules. It's just that in some places it's not even needed to know your schedule, right? When you are a regular human, oh my God, wait a minute. I just, oh my God, you see that? Can you see that? Oh God, no, really? That's a papalota. Oh my God, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna feel fine right now. It's not a course. <laughs> I know. And you know what? I saved her. I saved it. Okay, it, it ran there. Can you see it? It's a like big a one. Like a whisper. Yeah, it's a bigger, big. It's a big one, yeah. Okay, somehow my camera went off. Sorry. Okay, that's better. Well, ya se quedó quieta en rincón. Desde ayer hasta aquí, eh. Y en la mañana pensé que se había really? muerto. Porque, sí, desde ayer pensé que se había muerto, pero no. Y la agarré con algo, la llevé al patio, pero de alguna manera volvió a entrar. So, anyway. Ok. Let's and do you there. believe about the... Nah. About the... I don't know how to say... There, the, there's a the movie. No. Uh, uh, the, premonitions. No, no, no. There's a... Oh, my God. There's a movie with that name, I think. Urban Legends. Mm, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah there are some legends some some stories about it but no superstitions that's not my thing it's, beautiful. Like, it's beautiful okay. actually it's, it's very Here beautiful for you. yeah no it's it's very beautiful i think it's just a butterfly and if you can see it yeah it's just a butterfly guys so okay let's move on so i was saying if you go to a regular office you already know that you have to work from eight to five and lunch most likely is at 1 p.m. or 12, right? Or sometimes two hours lunch. Okay, that's regular mortals, not like us, right? <laughs> okay, today we have a great topic. We're gonna continue. Remember we talked about comparatives before? So today we're gonna talk about the other thing, you know, superlatives. Okay, so let's put this in context. Today, we're going to provide effective strategies, effective strategies to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. What? What do you understand by overstaffing and understaffing? It's like uh, when uh, there are so much uh, uh, workers in the same uh, schedule and when when uh, no sé cómo decirlo. Yeah. Pero, you're eh, good como, you're doing good when there are uh, too too many too many employees uh -huh. yes in, in, in my office for example uh, we have different schedule because schedules. Uh, when some ones are are eating uh, others uh, stay in the office and we keep the balance we keep a balance in the office when in ¿cómo se dice? Ninguno, ningún momento. at any given point or i'm sorry in ningún in momento, ningún momento uh -huh. at any time at any time at any time uh, the office never never is em empty so that is the balance that my office uh, came to to find uh, every needs, day and needs to needs, find needs, needs to have every day yeah yes, okay good job fernando okay when some are at lunch others continue working that's what you were trying to say when some are at work i'm sorry worse when some are at lunch others continue working 
and there has to be a balance right on each schedule the office can never be alone the office can never be left alone be left alone boys passive boys be left alone okay good job second opinion someone else what's understaffing with definition fernando what's understaffing sabrina try it why me <laughs> come on not much people to work not much it's people there. Opposite. It's the opposite. Okay. Y entiendo que es understaffing, pero no sé cómo emplearlo en una oración. Try it. You know. Okay. Okay. In my job, uh, there, there aren't other staffing. Mm -hmm. There isn't understaffing. There isn't understaffing. There isn't. Okay. ¿Por qué isn't y no aren't? Porque estoy hablando de un concepto, una idea. Como el amor, en este caso, understaffing, uh, un bajo nivel de empleados en cierto horario. Okay. So, there isn't understaffing. Y quizá, and maybe, there isn't overstaffing. We have the exact amount of employees. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pero se trabaja en una oficina, Sabrina. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. So yeah. yeah, it's like in regular offices, I don't think there's overstaffing or understaffing. They have the exact people for the exact positions, right? Yes. Uh huh. That's like normal. How many secretaries do you have, or receptionists? I should say. How many receptionists do you have? Uh. There is a uh, only reception. Only uh, one. There is a uh, only secretary. A, a unique. So secretary. I am only secretary in all the office. In the whole. Repeat. In the whole office. In the whole office. It's like know. it's like when you are the only woman. When the trabajaba en un importador de antas, there was only one woman in the whole company. <laughs> in the whole company. That was weird. There, there I mean, are more women in my job. Really? Are okay. Um, ten women. There are more women. Mm -hmm. Ten women in. Ten women. Four. Men. Men. Yeah. Men. 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 Yes. Okay. It's a small, um, small and medium business. Pequeña yes. mediana empresa. A pyme. Yes. A pyme. Así se dice en inglés. Small. And medium business. Pime, pime. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's talk about that. Overstaff, understaff. How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Hmm. Are computers a good tool? to create effective schedules for employees. In my opinion, organizing staff schedules, as I said before, depends on the niche of market that your company um, is implied to. You know, if you work regular office hours, you know, you're just a dispatch or a standard company, let's say a small and medium business then your your schedules will go from monday to friday maybe saturday in the morning maybe you may be work on saturday mornings or or you have an extended schedule for example my wife works <clears throat> from 7 a.m i'm sorry 7 30 a.m to 5 p.m they work 30 minutes more Okay, why? To cover to cover the four hours of Saturday. They don't go on Saturday. They have split. They have um, splitted the four hours in four days of the week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They leave at five, but Friday, Friday, they leave at 
at what? They leave at four. So they cover Saturday. They don't need to work. That's awesome. Um, computers are good. In other businesses, pay attention. In other businesses like call centers, to create a schedule, man, it's a headache. It's a headache because they even have a department where they have to plan. They have to plan the organization of the business based on what? Based on what? Well, they have to plan the schedule based on the demand. Uh, Company need. And they, they have to control the, the overstocking. Um, I will say there shouldn't have to be overstaffing in a call center because if they have a good broadcast management, if they have a good broadcast management, then everything should work smooth. Okay, I'm giving you vocabulary on the chat in Zoom. Everything should work smooth. Instead of back to back. <laughs> right, because that's the point. Um, so, do you understand? We talked about broadcast before, and it's not broadcast, correct me. Forecast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forecast management. I was trying to understand that concept. <laughs> yeah, broadcast. What is broadcast? It's 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 a trend yeah. right now. That's a trend, a broadcast. No? Yes, yes. Isela, what is what is a broadcast? You don't know? No, I don't know. It's a live audio transmission. It's not a live audio transmission. Like Facebook Live or YouTube Live is a broadcast. Okay, you can do that on Twitter, YouTube as well, I think. Okay. Transmission like this? Yeah, right I, now. Uh-huh. Like right now, but without video, it's audio. Okay. So that's the idea. Talk about these two questions. Number one, how difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Mm, hey, what do you have, everybody, what do you have to consider to assign a schedule for someone when your company, let's talk about restaurants. What do you have to consider when your company is open 24 seven? Again, 24 seven. If your company, your restaurant is open 24 seven, what do you have to consider to assign schedules? Number one. Hmm. Um, how many staff? Uh, how, yeah. how much staff or how many employees? Let's go correcting. How much what, staff? What do you have to consider? How much staff? How much staff? How many employees? Uh huh. Isa, Isela. Uh, they have to consider that all of the hours are covered. All the schedules are covered. All the yeah, the hours are covered. Yeah, schedules okay. are covered. Yeah, because some some restaurants they give you splitted. They give you splitted schedule. You work four hours in the morning, four hours in the evening. Yucky. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They give you splitted. Split a schedule, split a schedule. Uh -huh. They have to consider why, uh, which hours that the, the restaurant is filled or empty. It's full, full of it's or, full, empty. Full or empty. Do you mean high peak hours? Uh -huh. High peak hours. Do you understand this? High peak hours? Yeah. Okay. Good point. What else? What about the human side? Mm -hmm. What about the 
people skills. Ojo, los que van para supervisores. What about people skills? Consider different jobs or assignments. Different jobs to be assigned. Yeah, tasks, abilities. Abilities from the employees. I mean, will you put a uh, waiter <laughs> on your high peak hours? Someone goofy, a goofy waiter. You know, what is that? A goofy waiter? <laughs> yep, all the time. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> okay. So people skills. Consider, for example, it, let's say that a woman is pregnant a waiter is pregnant is uh, i'm sorry a waitress waitress is, pe is pregnant would you assign her in the late night schedule in the Salvador, yeah but it's not, not me but some companies <laughs> yeah some companies do it okay so that's the topic discuss how difficult is it to organize staff schedule consider all the points that we have discussed and have a conversation as usual, okay? Try to do it, you can do it. We are 20, great. Okay. Let's go. Uy, Rina, Miguel, and Roberto. Han quedado en el mismo grupo. Allá está Roberto solo en el grupo. <laughs> Don't worry. Ahorita los muevo para que estén por lo menos de oyentes, ¿ok? Don't worry. Alan, no sé si puedes escucharme, si puedes encender tu cámara y unirte a tu grupo. Sí se puede. Um, perdón, teacher. Es que... <laughs> Mire, llevo el teléfono al 11%. <laughs> Oh. En el camino para no participar, por no participar tranquila. Por... <risa> no, pero tranquilo, yo, yo comprendo. Eh, ¿Ya van a llegar o oh, aún oh, no? no? Ya casi, ya casi. Ay, qué bueno. Por lo menos yo sí. Sí, Miguel, no, no imagino que le va a pasar dejando a Miguel. No hay problema, Rina. Yo comprendo, ¿ok? Sorry. It's okay. Sorry, teacher, I'm driving right now, but it's uh, not a traffic right here. I'm not sure if I could. Uh, participate fully. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, Alan. I understand. I'll, I'll be a, a, a listener. Okay. It's okay. It's it may be it's easy for it's easier. Easy for that company. Is it easier? It, it is it's easier. Easier. <laughs> yeah. It's easier. easier. Okay. For that company. But yeah. if the company have a uh, some uh, many employees, no, muchos, a lot of employees. Excellent. A lot of employees. Uh, that is difficult because uh, they they have to consider a lot of things. Uh, things. Things. Uh, things. Of the employees, uh, schedules, uh, available. Uh, mm. They have to consider the, the collision in, in, in between uh, schedules of employees. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe has to consider um, uh, if is an industry or service or it, no. the, the different kind of the schedule like uh, half time, full time. Uh huh. Yes. It depends. Um, vacations, day off. Uh -huh. How do you say, teacher, el rubro, el rubro de la empresa? The niche, the niche. Mm -hmm. Así como ese famoso grupo de salsa. 
Nietzsche. The Nietzsche. <laughs> the Nietzsche. Um, okay. uh, Nietzsche the Nietzsche. of market. Nietzsche of market. Okay. Nietzsche of mercado. Oh, the next question. Question. Hey, are you done question. with the, Are you done with the first question? Oh, there's a lot of things lot to of consider. Things to consider. Yeah, the human side. Think about the human side. Um, if you have old people, old people. Or the opposite, if you have youngsters, if you have young people mm, and they need to be guided, necesitan ser guiados los jóvenes, right? No lo vas a en un horario donde solo bichos hay. Mm. It's a big mess. Okay, keep going, keep going. I have to do about stuff and um, I have to do schedule um for my boss to two different schedule. So, Teacher, if I can answer, um, for example, does your company do overtime? Does your company do overtime? Does your company have overtime? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Sabrina, does your company or your... Mm -hmm. Does your company do, do or have overtime? Have, uh, overtime? Mm, no. No, it doesn't, teacher. Perfect. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And what about you, Fatima? Um, but if if we have a lot of work, we have to finish. Don't so, matter the. Sarina. Time. Work. 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 <laughs> work work there you go but they don't yeah. pay do they pay no. you over time what about no. oh no not as well nocturne shift you know the the surcharge the 25 percent surcharge when you work at night they pay you 25 percent that's the law in El salvador right yeah. Okay, keep going. Okay, are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? What do you think? Yes, it is a good tool because it's, it's more ease because it's easier. Yeah. More easy, easier, ba? Easier. Easier to do? Yes, it's important. It's easy. Yeah. And you, William? Yeah, I think it is a good tool. So who is next? Yeah. In some case, use to computer is, is important for the presentation, right? We need to print the schedule and print the past a paper in, in a wall front to to all the people in the company what? For all the people for all the people in the company to see it. To see it. Okay. 
see here. Interesting. I don't know what do you think, Caroline Alexander. Yeah, and yeah, this is so important because if you are not able to get a good tools, you actually are going to get stressed, angry, or upset, and you need to be more effective or productive when you are creating a schedule because you need to organize your ideas in your mind first, then you need to project your ideas and your tools. But if your tools are slow, uh, <laughs> you are going to get stressed. For example, Repeat, uh, wait, uh, good tools, good tools. Uh, good tool. Good okay. tools. If you don't have good tools, good tools, or a good tool, a oh, okay. good tool. Upset, not upset. Upset. Yeah, the stress is on okay. the second syllable. Keep going. Okay. Go ahead, Carla. Okay. Please. Yes. Yes. You can you get on those employees? Unemployed. Oh, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, nunca me digan lo siento. Don't worry. Me mejor dígame. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sí, no sé qué están aprendiendo. That's trouble. Don't worry. Unemployed. It's very important. The, the, it's very important the company. The, is my my company. Is <laughs> my partner. Is more. It's a big company. Oh, sorry. A, okay. Why? Employed. Who's it's your who, Who's your classmate? I mean, your coworker. Jose Antonio is your coworker. Yes, Jose Antonio. Oh. He works in, a I... in the big company. Mm. Okay. So schedules. How do you know your schedule? The more, the more important in El Salvador construction. The construction company. The construction company. Mm. Mm -mm. There are many employee, employees. In that company. Yes. Oh, what's the name of the company? Construction Nabla. Oh. Nabla. No habla. Nabla, Nabla. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Construct uh, Nabla Constructors. Nabla Constructors. Constructors. Yes. Okay. Never heard of it. Nunca lo había escuchado. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Are we back? I think so. Okay, schedules. Very important topic. Let's move on, guys. Today on page 27, we have a conversation, okay? Let's pay attention so we can practice reading again and again. Okay. Put attention. <laughs> <laughs> pay attention. Okay, guys. Let me see. So let's take turns practicing this conversation. Please be careful. Pay attention right now and try to repeat with me, okay? Try to repeat. Don't turn on your microphone. Just listen and repeat if you can. Okay. Remember, Laura. Mm, yeah. Laura, how do you, how do you keep the schedule organized? One more time. Laura, 
How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most effective way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. One more time. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most effective way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, simple. Efficient, teacher, efficient. Efficient. Uh -huh. Your, you said <laughs> effective. Uh, effective. Twice. Twice. <laughs> I said effective twice. Oh my God. Twice, twice. Okay, awesome. It's really sorry, guys. When you get my age, you know, <laughs> excuse me. Sorry, guys. Yeah, thank you. Efficient. Efficient. Que como es la mente. Porque estoy leyendo con la vista periférica. Okay, most effective. Mm -mm. Efficient. Very similar. Effective and efficient. Wow. Wow. Okay. Como relaciona tu cerebro super rápido. Okay. Let's go. Practice. Repeat. Repeat. Change roles. Repeat. Repeat. Then we come back here. We go back and then we come back here and I choose three of you, three couples, and we go really quick. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> we are 20, but Roberto uh, is not participating. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I wait. I'm going to share. Okay. I'm going to share the book. Let me, let me find. Quiero ver dónde está esa cosa. Aquí está. Aquí está. Ahí sí. Bueno, ahorita. Quiero ver. Cerrar este. Vamos a abrir el otro porque no se puede. Bueno. ¿Qué página es? It is page 27. 27. Okay. Nice <sighs> start. Okay. Laura. Okay. Hope how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Always. Always, always. I use an online service to, I'm sorry. I use an online service so that staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way I be I be I bet it 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 saved a lot of time I bet it saved saved a lot of time 
Save. 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 After all time. Yes, it is the best way to keep yourself organized and on time. Okay. 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 Change. Yeah. Change. You are Gilbert now. Me. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, so I am Gilbert okay. again, 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 again. Uh, Laura, okay. how do you keep the schedule organized? Schedule. A schedule. My staff is. My staff is always complaining. Schedule. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I better save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. William. Uh, William? <laughs> okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Uh, my staff is always complaining. Alexander, go. I use an online service. Sorry. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their forms. Uh, that sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized okay. and on time. Okay. Lo Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phone. phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is, a, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Again. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. They better save a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Good job. Let's change couples. Okay, we're back. Let me recreate the groups one more time. Okay, let's do it one more time, guys. I'm changing couples now. Let's go. Let's go, Miriam. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir, I, I was I was that here. <laughs> the other <laughs> 
<laughs> like your name, Madrid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the first uh... in European in in Salvador too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Okay, my friend. We need to practice the conversation. Right. Yes. Mm, you first or me? I first, if you want. Okay, me. Laura. Laura. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I did it says a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your stuff organized and on time. Okay, repeat. Uh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My stuff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet, I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Okay, repeat. Uh, organized. 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 Uh, listen. Organized. Uh, let me see if you're sharing something. Hold on. <clears throat> Again, you say organized. 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 Okay. Organized. Sorry, let me do something really quick. Organized. René, no, no enciende el micrófono. No, no enciende el micrófono. Ok, repita. Organized. Le falta el t, t. ¿Y cómo sabes si está apagado el micrófono? Hey, le estoy leyendo los labios y sé que no está haciendo ese sonido. T, 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 t. Juan, organized. Por ahí va, a ver. Ah, al sí. final va, ¿verdad? Sí, sonido final, les he dicho a todos. Ojo, la, la forma base de ese verbo es organize. Y luego en pasado, organized. El t, t es lo que nos hace falta, ¿ok? Do it one more time, ¿ok? We're almost done. Laura. How do you keep your schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service to tap the staff. Can you see their schedule from their phone? That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it say a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, change rules. Change. Okay, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always always complaining. I use a online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Change. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that this that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it say a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Laura, Laura, 
How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use someone like Sherbet so that the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule. Miguel Angel, Miguel Angel, William Alexander, William Alexander, Miguel Angel, and Miguel Angel. Okay, William. <laughs> okay, select a couple. Okay, Jocelyn, good. Jocelyn is not here, I think. Is she? I am here. Yay! Where Hi, are you? Teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Hey, Thank uh, you. okay, guys, before you read, let's clear, let's clear this up. You say schedule. 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 Let me hear you. Schedule. Everybody, everybody, let me hear you. Schedule. 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 Quiero quitarme la E antes de la S en inglés. Entonces agarro aire y lo suelto entre los dientes y digo. Schedule. schedule. Student. Schedule. Stay. Schedule. Stop. Schedule. 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 You got it. Tercera, no. Primera regla de los verbos regulares en pasado. Organized. Por cierto. Organized. Sí, es que es the, the, the second rule. ¿Por qué second y no first? Yo me pongo las manos en la garganta y solo digo el verbo en su forma base. Digo organize. Me vibra todo. Organize. Entonces no es voiceless, es voiced ending. Ok, organize, organized. Organized. Hmm. Organized. The organized. Organized. There you go. Organized. Okay. Next, the staff can see their schedules. That sounds like, that sounds like most efficient. Okay, let's correct that. Ready? William, Jocelyn, one, two, three. Action. Oh. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see the schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes. It's the best way. Yes. It is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Hey, good. Nice pronunciation at the end. Everybody, their, their schedule, their schedule. Perfect. Their schedule. Their schedule, their schedule. Good. Okay, select two more people, Jocelyn and William, one each. Okay. Johnny. In... René. Okay. 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 I am Hilbert. Okay. Laura, 
how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I, you say online service to stop the staff can see their schedule from their phone. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it takes a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Better, very good, okay. And again, guys, we say schedule, schedule. Schedule. Ok, eso ustedes eh, usualmente dicen show, 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 yo, yo. Ahí está en el perfect. Again, René. Schedule. Schedule. Ahora solo quitamos la al principio. Es una. Ah, schedule. There you go. Schedule. Schedule. Ok. Ahora, el chiste al pronunciar naturalmente en inglés es unir Quechua. todas las palabras que puedas. Ajá. Sin embargo, no que suene como leer de corrido, sino que saberlo hacer, ¿eh? Y esa es la clave. Ajá. Si tú aprendes a leer unido la pronunciación, te va a sonar súper bien. Ok. My staff is always. My staff is. My staff is. My staff is always. My staff is always complaining. Repeat. My staff is always complaining. My staff is always my staff is always complaining. My staff is always complaining. Bien, eh, voy a hacer una pausa. I need to do the attendance y luego le voy a hablar de algo súper rápido para que mejoremos quickly. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Okay. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Ahí estaba Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Por ahí andaba Alan ya. No, he left. Ok, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Lo he visto. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia, José Ángel Martínez Hernández, Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present teacher. Bien, aprovechando un minuto nada más, una pausa rápida, no se rían mucho, pero tú te acuerdas, más que todos los bichos, se acuerdan cuando teníamos entre 12 y 16 años, todavía hasta algunos hasta los 18 o 20 nos agarró esto. ¿Cómo tratábamos de impresionar a las chicas? A una mujer jamás he visto, la he visto hacer esto, pero uno de bicho trata de cambiar su voz, ¿no? Y sonar así como, más cuando estás comiendo son popos. Y tratando de sonar bien sexy con tu voz y todo. Y articulas cada palabra. No me lo nieguen. Nunca, no se acuerden, se hagan memoria. Y era como que pues, tengo que lucirme ante todo el mundo porque tengo que hablar bien y crean que soy bien, bien hablado y todo. Entonces, eso necesito que hagas cuando hagamos estos roleplay. Te da risa, pero acordate, ten ese sentimiento, ¿ok? En tu mente, muy presente, cuando trataba de de impresionar a las chicas las mujeres no hacen eso, las mujeres es como a mí me tienen que adorar todos estos a esa edad, ¿no? entre los dos y los 20 es como ¿Mm? yo soy la monedita de oro y es cierto, o sea, son las flores sí. en realidad no sé, Isela ¿Mm -hmm? 
Still dice. <risa> sí, y es cierto, una de las cosas más hermosas que hay en este mundo, si no me imagino, si no hubiera mujeres en el mundo, de verdad les digo, qué raro sería. Pero entonces, ojo, bichos, tengan eso en su mente siempre, lleguen a viejos y tengan eso en su mente que se están aprendiendo otros idiomas, es muy importante que aprendas a meterte en otro papel. Yo aún lo hago, 10 segundos, 20 segundos antes de iniciar la clase, es como convertirte en alguien más. ¿Ok? Dejo el rol de papel, el rol de viejo enojado, a veces ando aquí en la casa o ando demasiado eléctrico, entonces vengo, respiro, voy a la clase. ¿Okay? Y eso lo aprendí desde el primer día de, de clase, la primera capacitación que tuve, convertirte en alguien más. No es fácil ser profesor, pero si tenés esta capacidad, y te lo digo en buena onda, si tenés problemas de confianza y tenés en el trabajo eh, que dar algo, dar algo más de ti, pues entonces salite de donde estés. Ya, si tenés algo importante que hacer, hace fuerzas con cada centímetro de tu cuerpo, cada músculo y decirte a ti mismo yo puedo. Comencete. Hacer ese ejercicio, presionar cada músculo de todo tu cuerpo, enfócate en eso. ¿Ok? Eh, es muy importante, ¿eh? Para que te creas algo, tenés que sentirlo. Entonces, te invito a que hagas eso. Y más acá en la clase, no tengas pena de hablar, de equivocarte. Necesito que te equivoques, ¿ok? So, let's continue. Um, so, we did two couples, right? Let's move on with the next part. Let me make you the questions so we can do the pair work. How does your company organize schedules? These are two work, two jobs. Uh... Uh, yep, let's go. Answering. How does your company organize schedules? How, how's, how's the, how does your company organize schedule? Uh -huh. No hacemos la pausa, le decía. Organize schedules. Organize, organize, schedules. organize schedules. Organize schedules. Organize schedules. Organize schedules. Sandra, how does your company organize schedules? How do they do it? Sorry, how does your company organize schedules? Organize schedules. Yes, it's like, how do they, or is it, does your company have a fixed schedule, Sandra? Do they have a fixed schedule? Or how do we call it, Isela, Jocelyn, Alexander, how do we call the other type of schedules when they are not fixed schedules they are flexible right yeah flexible location yes schedules so sandra do, do, do you do you have a fixed schedule or a flexible schedule is fixed schedule a schedule oh so just one schedule for all the employees yes uh... In my work, uh, employees a uh, feast a uh, scapter. No. Yeah, oh. in my job, employees no. my have have feast a uh, schedule. Uh, okay, together fixed. Fixed. Fixed, fixed, fixed schedule. Vamos a, vamos a intentar hacer el máximo esfuerzo, Sandra. Ojo, la F es fuerte. Fix, la X suena. Ok, fix. Fix, fix, fix schedule. A ver, y al final hay una T mayúscula ahí. Fix. Ok. Fix. Fits. Fits. Esto suena como acá. Fits. Ajá. Fix. 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 Fix.
Vamos a agregar el sonido T para pasar el verbo pasado. Fixed. Fixed. Perfect. Fixed. You got it. Yes. Okay. Great. Fixed schedule. Okay. So they have a fixed schedule. You don't have to worry about organizing schedules. Does anybody work organizing schedules here? Anybody? Or who has a rotating schedule? Ada, do you have a rotating schedule? Well, actually, um, rotating and flexible are the same, or yeah. not? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Alexander. Yes. Now, in my case, uh, we have uh, fixed schedules because, yeah, only the 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 department um, assigned to create schedule. They only uh, accommodate only lunches and breaks. And breaks. Oh, what's, yeah. what's your schedule? I have to work uh, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, lunch hour uh, at lunch. I uh, one hour for lunch. Lunching. An and, hour. An hour for lunch. Uh huh. And two breaks. Repeat. Uh, an hour for lunch. An hour for lunch. Uh huh. At what time? And uh, is it's not the same hour a day. Oh, really? But yeah. usually between 11 and 2 p.m. or? Uh, not actually. 10 to 1 p.m. Uh, what's your yeah. favorite? What's your favorite? 1 p.m. 1 p.m.? Okay. It's just one hour. Yeah. And two breaks for 15. Two 15, 15 minutes. Two 15 minutes break. Yeah. Mm, okay. Good. Yeah. Let's see, simple. In your opinion, what is more, what is the, what is most efficient way to avoid overstuffing and understuffing? Guys, correct your book. There's something missing here. What is the most? The most. We're missing the article here. What is the most efficient way? to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. Understaffing is the Let me most... hear. Let me hear Isela or Justin okay. who wants to speak. I haven't heard Isela in the whole night. Isela, what's the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? To avoid overstaffing. To avoid overstaffing or understaffing? Both. Um, I don't know because I think that is different in the in some companies. Actually, um, on my account to avoid overstaffing, they have to they previously prepare or they already know hold agents they they need to to have connected to avoid overstaffing and understaffing um can be when i'm sorry to avoid understaffing they try to to verify how many agents we can have out of the fund and how many agents we need taking, we need to have them taking calls. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all of these kind of changes is money related from the account. I all think. these changes are money related, yes. Yeah. True. Because of the SLA, the service level agreement, right? Okay. So, hey. 
actually, 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 okay, agent. And it's because you are like this. You're like this right now, so you can say agent. You're missing the T. Agent. <laughs> agent. Okay, good. Final sounds. Good. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, guys. So do you remember I explained to you before I send you a presentation actually about um, this sort of grammar rules, adjectives to compare things. So how do you fill in the blanks here? Let me check something really quick here. So we're doing good. Okay, good. So, uh huh. How do you fill in the blanks? That sounds like the most efficient. The most efficient way. Very good. What about the second one? It is the best way. Excellent, William. <laughs> yes, the best way to keep your stuff organized and, time, and on time. No, really? Yeah, it's on bold letters. It's on bold letters. Bold letters. Negritas. You don't say it's in black letters. You say it's on bold letters, right? Okay. So if you remember that presentation, we're about to see it again on that part. Look at the examples we have in the box. Jack is the fastest server. That was the saddest moment in the shift. The busiest, oh, please don't say the busiest. This is very common. The busiest, the busiest hour is during lunch. The most interesting customers come to our restaurant. Kitchen managers have the best schedules. I have a question for you. What is the subject in this sentence? In this, yeah, tense, this sentence. Kitchen managers have the best schedules. What is the subject? Kitchen managers. Kitchen managers. Okay, good. Just give your attention. I usually receive the worst tips. I usually receive the worst tips. Okay, so the superlative form for one syllable verbs, I'm sorry, one syllable adjectives is made of the, the, okay, adjective plus EST. So it's not longer ER, remember? Ya no bonificas el adjetivo con ER, sino que ahora es EST. O también puede ser IEST. Cuando reemplazas la Y. So we're going to check that right away, really quick, with the presentation that I sent you before. If you remember, we talked about comparatives before. Now I need your help to go through superlatives. If you remember, with comparatives, we said smaller than, bigger than, okay, fatter than, happier than, or more Beautiful then. Now, superlatives. Juan Guzman, help me. Okay. Superlatives are used to show the difference between more than two objects. Let's say that I have three cars. I have a little Toyota, a medium sized Jeep, and a big Ford. A superlative is used to show the difference that size in the group. The four is big to is big, so we can say the four is the biggest because the Toyota is small. We can say the Toyota is the smallest. To learn to use this, we need to learn find basic rules. Perfect. Hey Juan, le sugiero que lea libros en inglés ya. Good pronunciation, man. Good pronunciation. Se le va a desarrollar muchísimo, eh. Great job. Y lo reto a que no traduzca en su cabeza ni que traduzca las palabras. O sea, si no entiende la palabra, lo reto a que regrese y vea hacia adelante también lo que tiene esa palabra para entender en el contexto. Ojo todos. Eh. Y si ya, pues definitivamente no lo entiendes la palabra, ¿ok? Entonces la subraya y continúe. 
su cerebro le va a dar lógica. Eso es un proceso cognitivo súper interesante. De nuevo, no entiendo la palabra, ok, pues regreso a la lectura o adelanto en la lectura, algo tiene que relacionarse con la palabra. Ok, topé, no entendí, la subrayo y continúo leyendo. Más adelante mi cerebro me va a decir, ah, por eso decía que yo allá. Entonces esto ha de querer decir esto. Mm, ya me voy al diccionario y le hay lógica a la palabra, ok. Ojo con ese ejercicio todos. Great job. Can you select someone? Juan? Ok. Um... Fernando Cosme Morales. Excelente. Fernando. Continue. Rule number one. Sí, está bueno. Um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> rule number one. If an adjective, adjective has a citable. Uh, start again. Focus. Ah. Focus. If, focus. It's an adjective has one citable. We add the ending est to the adjective. Mm -hmm. uh, I a small in example. Ah, in example, a small plus est equals the smallest point. Point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ex for example, uh, in, in example, in example, hard plus est equals the hardest. Excellent. The n is the smallest. You got it. The ant is the smallest. <laughs> I'm just trying to write with this thing. Okay. So, guys, you're going to find this in many books. In example. Or you will read it as EG. E punto G punto. Example given. In example, example given. Yes. Let's see. Repeat, Fernando. Adjective. Object, object, adjective, adjective. There you adjective. go. If an adjective, if if an objective, if an adjective has one syllable, has one syllable. There you go. Okay, let's move on. The ant is the smallest. So again, guys, remember the previous rule, right? The same as comparatives, but in this case, we're adding est. One syllable plus EST. The end is the smallest, the hard, the hardest. And select someone for Nando. Uh, William. Okay. Rule two. If a one syllable adjective ends with a consonant plus a vowel plus a consonant, you must double the last consonant and add EST. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. In example, oh, what is <laughs> big plus EST uh, equal the biggest. Uh, in example, fat plus EST equal the fastest. Fattest. The fattest. You got it. Good job. Yeah. Okay. The, the example. The hippo is the fat, fattest. Yeah, the hippo is the fattest. Okay, with a, with a, with a consonant. With a, uh, with a consonant. With a. With a, with a yeah. consonant. If a one syllable adjective ends with a consonant, with a consonant, with a consonant. With a consonant. ¿Sabes por qué muchas llamadas del call center no me identifican los gringos que no soy latino? Por esos pequeños detalles como el que acabo de hacer, with, a, with, a, with, a. la TH al final de las palabras suena Z, al principio de las palabras suena Z, okay. a veces soplas, a veces no, the, el artículo the, por ejemplo, with, both, both, ok, y and so on, so, ojo con eso, eh. no es por molestar que lo hago, so, gotta get it. Select someone, William. So again, select someone, William. Okay, um, Fatima Ifigenia. Fatima, okay. Um, so clearing this out, one syllable verbs. 
consonant, vowel, consonant. Allá era lo mismo, ¿no? Consonante, vocal, consonante. Duplico la última consonante y agrego en este caso EST, ya no es ER. Allá decía bigger con doble G o decía fatter con doble T. Aquí en lugar de ER voy a agregar EST. Ok. Fátima. Rule number three. If an adjective and with a G. Rule number three. If an adjective. Johnny. And... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's okay, don't worry. Fatima, go ahead again, please. Sorry. Okay. Rule number three. If an adjective, adjective and with a G, remove D. Why? Why and add I-E-S-T. I-E-S-T. Mm -hmm. I-E-S-T. In example. In example. Mm -hmm. Happy. G. Don't worry, don't worry. I happy plus I-E-S-T, -E right? Oh, look, it says happy minus. Happy minus. Y. Y. Plus. No. I E S T. I E S T. Equals. Equals. The happiest. The happiest. Do the second one. Example. Funny. Minus. One. Minus Y. Y. Uh -huh. Plus. Plus. I E S T. Yeah, ESD, huh? Equals? Equals the funniest. Funniest. The funniest. Okay. Good, good. Sí. O sea que sí, la, la perrita se llama la funny. Funny. <laughs> la graciosa. The funny. La funny. I mean, la funny. Okay. Hey, um, ending sounds. Okay. Final sounds. Ends. If an adjective ends with a Y. What's the example, Fatima? The elephant is the heaviest. Repeat. The elephant is the heaviest. The, the elephant is the heaviest. Perfect. Okay. Questions with this rule? Questions? No questions. Okay. Good. So I think this is very clear, very self-explanatory. Okay, who's next, Fatima? I have a question. Yes, one. One. <laughs> that rules are in in the book. No, they're in your WhatsApp. And yes, they are in the book too. Si están en el libro, están en la presentación. Esta presentación yo se las envié también. Igual manera lo voy a volver a hacer. Okay, Juan, help me. Okay. Rule number four. If an adjective has two syllables or more without a uh, Y, then add the word most before the word. If the adjective ends with a Y, you will only add the word most. If it is, has three syllables or more, i.e., beautiful. In, ex, plus in example, most. in example, i.e., beautiful most plus most equals the most beautiful. I.e., expensive plus most equals the most expensive. I.e., satisfactory plus most equals the most. Satisfactory. Excellent. Satisfactory. Sat excellent. Satisfactory. There you go. Satisfactory. 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 Expensive. Beautiful. Hey, um, in example, is a e punto e quiere decir in example. Uh, les decía también que lo pueden encontrar en los libros como e punto g. Example given. Ejemplo dado. Aquí dice en ejemplo. 
Ok, o por ejemplo, ok, in example. Por ejemplo. Uh -huh. En todo quiere decir, por ejemplo, ok, es la manera diferente de hacerlo. Stress, satisfactory. The, air, the airplane, I'm sorry, the airplane is the most expensive. The airplane is the most expensive. Ok. The airplane I, is the most expensive. So, aclarando este tema para todos, allá era comparativos, y decía, un aeroplano es más caro que un carro. An airplane is more expensive than a car. Y aquí solo estoy hablando de el que es el mayor de todos. Ya no estoy comparando, sino estoy, estoy, um, eh, digamos, eh, ajá, pero para ubicarnos The estoy high, hablando. High position to others. ¿Cómo mencionar? ¿Cuál es el de mayor cualidad? Resaltar la cualidad de un objeto, de un precio. grupo. ¿El de mayor? Stand out. Ajá, the ones that stands out over the others. Ajá, the ones, the outstanding object among others. Cabal. El que más resalta de todos. O sea, esa cualidad que más resalta de ese objeto o incluso una persona en un grupo de objetos, ¿ok? O personas. Entonces, allá decía el aeroplano es más caro que el carro. Aquí digo, el aeroplano es el más caro, por ejemplo. Ok, rule number five, there are a few exceptions and these are there. Ok, good. What was good on the comparative? Better. 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 What was bad? Worse. Worse. <laughs> Con esa sí tengan mucho cuidado. Allá era worse. Ok. That's worse than anything that I have ever seen. Ok. The worst. W-O-R-S-E. Worse. Ojo, aquí es worst. The worst. The worst. Ok. Far. The farthest. Farthest. ¿Cómo era far allá? Farther. 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 Y aquí es the farthest. Ahora bien, quiero aclararles algo. Farther, farthest, muy rara vez lo van a ocupar. Me han dicho como cinco americanos que he conocido de profesores um, que farthest es como una distancia de aquí a la luna. Ok, so be careful. Más lejano posible. Really, yeah, el más lejano. Ok, that's the farthest place I ever been to. Uh, el lugar más lejano. That's, I don't know. It's too far. Por eso en Shrek dicen que la ciudad se llama Far, Far Away. Far, wow. far Away. <laughs> ok, good. Y una cosa más. El artículo the va antes de the, pronuncio the si va antes de una consonante, pronuncio the si va antes de una vocal, pero también si lo que voy a decir es muy importante o quiero hacer una Karen y exagerar, les voy a decir, that's the worst service. Estás en un restaurante y te querés quejar, that's the worst service I ever had. Es el peor servicio que he recibido. The worst. ¿Cómo con eso, eh? Por eso, si lo escuchas con algún americano que se esté quejando, por eso lo dice con D. Entonces, sí, tienes que entender, esta señora se va a explotar. Be careful. Ok. Good. No questions. Let's practice. You have a mission. Or let me check. Let me double check. Because this is... Is it Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. That's it? Okay, yeah, you have a mission on page 28. You just have to underline, okay, the correct word or phrase. So exercise six on page 28 in small groups. Understand, is it the most important or the more important thing? Just select the right sentence, okay? Simple, very easy. Just underline, underline. What is underline? 
Underline. Underline. <laughs> Subrayar. Very good. Let's understand everything, guys. So let's get together and do this by yourself. Let's go. Page 28, exercise six. Okay. The best second one. I didn't find the um, the item for under nine. <laughs> <laughs> The tool, yeah, the tool to underline. Yeah, okay. Don't use the best, the goodest schedule. We <laughs> the best. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Okay. Three or four. Uh, Jane, Jane is the fastest. Fastest waitress. The fastest. The fastest. Four. Deliver orders are the most popular. The more popular right now. This one. The most, most popular. Popular is right or not. Hmm? <laughs> okay. This restaurant has the prettiest, the most pretty Pretty. decorations. Decorations. Do you think one? Is that right? Prettiest. This, this, this. The this. most popular, the more popular. Okay, the prettiest or the most pretty decorations. One. Uh, the prettiest. Okay. Restaurant has the The kitchen manager works the longest, longest shift. The most important. Okay. Don't use. Mm -hmm. Continue. Sorry. So use the best the codes get you um, as a re reward. Como se dice eso? Reward. Perfect. Reward. Reward. Mm -hmm. As a reward. Okay. As a reward. Re reward. 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 Okay. Jane is the fastest. A fastest white dress. Okay. Fast. Delivery orders are the most popular. The most right now. Mm -hmm. Popular right now. And this restaurant has the pre prettiest 
the most pretty, pretty, pretty decoration. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, all the answers are the number A, teacher. Uh, option A. Yes, answers don't are... use the best. Uh, Jenny is the fastest. fastest. The order are the most popular. The uh, restaurant has the, pre the prettiest decoration. Prettiest. I love the kitchen manager is the long help The, the longest manager works the longest. Shifts. 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 Hmm, difficult. Okay, we'll check that. Very good, you're done. Great job. Time is it? Yeah, let's go back. Okay. Okay. Can you please grab a sticker? Grab a stamp. Hey. Hello. Um, seeing this topic, I remember that uh, a phrase for uh, some actress. Actress, yeah. He said, the that helped me the most. God helped me the most. The most. God. The only that said that helped me the most. G O D. Yeah. God helped me. Helped. Helped me the most. The most. Mm -hmm. That says yeah. Yeah, because you can combine those words like that. You, it, it's you like say, saying it's like saying that only God helped her, or the uh, most. Okay. Okay. Everybody helped, but God was the one that really helped her. Okay. So don't use the best or the goodest schedules as a reward. What is it? The best or the goodest? The best. best. Everybody, come on. The best. The best. Yes, the best. The best. Very good. I'm gonna read the first one. Okay, just read it because I heard you having some trouble pronunciating some words. The most important, the more important thing is to find a substitute. A substitute for sick employees. Employees. Don't use the best schedules as a reward. 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 So if, si alguna vez te pregunto un cliente, do you have a rewards program? Tiene un programa de recompensas? Do you have a rewards program? Oh. Jane is the fastest or the fastest waitress. What? What? Okay, Jane is the fastest or Jane is fastest waitress. The article, don't forget the, the. Always the fastest waitress, waitress. Number four, is it the most popular or the more popular? The most. The most. Okay, Con continue. Continue putting your stickers. I will just read. Delivery orders are the most popular right now. Delivery orders are the most popular right now. Okay, number five. This restaurant, this restaurant the most. has the prettiest decorations. This restaurant has the prettiest decorations. Pretty, prettier, prettiest. Okay, and the last one. The, the kit 
kitchen manager, the kitchen manager works the longest shift. No. <laughs> I made a mistake, wait. Shifts, 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 shifts. Okay. Difficult, if you don't practice, that's difficult. Great job. Oh, wait, longest shift? No, you need the article, the longest shifts. Very good. Questions? Okay. We only have five minutes, so I want you to give me examples. Okay. About that. Think about anything in the world. We have a huge world. The most beautiful thing in the world is the moonlight. Um, the most beautiful thing, the most beautiful thing in the world for me, for me, is the full moon. The full moon. Full moons the are most, amazing. Okay. The most beautiful landscape. Now change the adjective. Landscape. <laughs> Let, let's do that challenge. No more beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Try something else. Another adjective. And then there is the best thing from El Salvador. <laughs> okay. Alianza is the best team in El Salvador. Okay. The best no, soccer okay. team. The best soccer team in El Salvador. Change adjective. You cannot use beautiful or best. Continue. Adjectives, adjectives. Come on, guys. Four minutes. Come on, Sandra. Miriam, Miguel Angel, are you there, Miguel Angel? Jocelyn? The, no, I don't is the pupusas is better. Wait, Sorry. wait, wait. Do it again, do it again. Cla Claudia said, my daughter. No, I said, she has. Sorry, Dino. Oh, it was you, Jocelyn. Okay, no problem. Yes, Claudia is single. Yeah, oh, Claudia. Am... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, teacher. No, es, I mean, my, my es que se me, a mí se, ustedes no ven esto, pero a mí se me pone en amarillo la pantalla de quien habla. O sea, se me pone un recuadro no, amarillo. No. O so, las dos se encendió la de Claudia por algún motivo. Are you in the same house? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> okay, Jocelyn, do it again. My daughter is the prettiest. Prettiest. The prettiest. The prettiest for me. For me, okay, good. Okay, my daughter is the prettiest girl in the world. Okay, beautiful, awesome for the me. Greatest thing, the greatest thing that you can do in your life is reach your own goals. The greatest thing you can do in your own life. No, 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 no. The greatest thing you can do in your life is reach your own goals. Reach your own goals. That was really good. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay. Someone else. Claudia, say something. The pupusas is the better food in El Salvador. Mm, but you're pluralizing. Pupusas are the best. Okay. The pupusas. Uh -huh. My pupusas. Dog is wait, 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 wait. Pupusas are? Are the best. No. Pupusas are the best uh, food in El Salvador. Excellent. Okay. I will be more specific. It's not correct. Uh, pupusas is better, is better food than tacos? No. Ahora bien, estás, estás pluralizando. Sí, Entonces necesitas el verbo to be en plural, Claudia. Uh, yes. Good. Think about it. Fernando, I think, or René, who? who? Uh, my dog is the most loyal pet. My dog is the most loyal pet. Excellent. René? Mm -hmm. 
My cat is bigger than yours. Yeah, my cat is bigger than yours. Fatima, mm -hmm. try it. No? The dog is fat. Okay, my dog or the dog is fatter than or is bigger than the cat. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Prince, 1986, I think. Girl, you be the Teacher, most beautiful be, girl. Most... The... <laughs> Me cortas de la inspiración. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> the most beautiful girl in the world, decía, decía Prince. Hey, el año pasado murió, ¿verdad? Prince. It's Rihanna, yeah. Yeah, Rihanna. What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> William, what's your question? Uh, Audi is the most uh, expensive car ever. Mm, Could be. Yeah. Nah. Like, yeah. like example. I don't As know an example, you. yeah, I think yeah, Audi is the most expensive car there has ever been. Or yeah. Now you can use superlatives in different grammar tenses. Okay, so. We will see that tomorrow. Acuérdense, mañana es nuestro último día. Esa plataforma tiene que quedar terminada, señores, para podernos ir a descansar despacito, tranquilos. Si no, el 3 de agosto les estoy escribiendo a todos a la medianoche. Eso es un tal. Mentira. Ok. Tagada <risa> vamos a andar, tichera, esta vez. Ajá. No, en serio, no vayan a salir. No salgan, por favor. No, no, más lo que te puedes ir a caer en el tagadao, que te vean algo. Okay. <laughs> hey, today is Thursday the 29th. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Where, where is she? <gasps> she left. No way. Isela left, really? Isela, oh my God. Okay. Tengo un espacio disponible si alguien um, se puede quedar. Let me think. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Ada Susana was with me before. Ada Susana, what do you think? Would you like to stay 10 minutes? Or... Yes? Okay, good. Let's do it. Okay, let me do the attendance one last time. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez se reportó enfermo. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Por ahí estaba Carla Janet. Ok. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Chau. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Thank you. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Good night. Yeah, tomorrow the Red Falls. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. 
Doctora Cáceres Mendoza, buenas noches. ¿Cómo está usted? Con sueño nada más. Ay, ya somos dos, ya ahorita no sé por qué me entró sueño, la verdad, si ando bien contento. No, ya, ya es tarde. It's a little late. Okay. Bueno, de la me ha puesto a las 12, va, pero hay días más cansados que otros. Depende. ¿De qué depende? <risa> Del ¿De trabajo. ¿Cómo se mire? Todo depende de no, depende del trabajo, de también. Sí, de la carga laboral que uno tenga en el día, eso es cierto. ¿Cómo le sí. va? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo ha estado, doctora? Pues gracias a Dios, bastante bien ahí, tratando de, de ver cómo ponemos en práctica mucho el, el, el speaking, ¿verdad? He tratado de estar escuchando también en algunas, eh, en internet aparecen bastantes links, en donde hasta con canciones le enseñan a uno a repetir y van despacito, despacito. Generalmente eh, utilizan las canciones de los Beatles, entonces las van cortando y lo hacen repetir a uno. Eh, en los pocos eh, tiempos, con el poco espacio que me queda al mediodía, trato de hacerlo. Cuando puedo comer al mediodía temprano, a la hora que estoy comiendo, estoy... Trato de, de, de meterme en la computadora cuando estoy en, en oficina o en clínica, ¿verdad? Pero cuando no, lo trato de hacer en los recesos, en los vestidores ahí del hospital, a ponerme a ver el teléfono cuando hay acceso también a internet. Porque a veces eh, trabajamos en un área de radiación en donde se pierde mucho la señal. Entonces, pero ahí tratando de, de, de ver cómo... Tener más vocabulario, porque eso es lo que hace falta mucho para platicar, ¿verdad? Realmente yo admiro a, a los compañeros que trabajan en los call centers, que a ellos fácilmente se les suelta la lengua. Yo se les me ayuda mucho, me dicen, no, es que mire, haga este ejercicio y me enseña cómo enrollar la lengua y a desenrollarla. Entonces, es bien importante eso, que existan compañeros que tratan de ver en qué forma me ayudan no, a los demás. Me ayudan. Sí, sí, sí. Pero esos ejercicios incluso usted los puede hacer. Cuando está sí, haciendo sí. cirugía. Oh. <ríe> está sí, enrollando sí. la lengua, mordiéndose la puntita de la lengua, soplando mientras muerde la puntita de la lengua. Y así, ¿no? Eso es muy importante. ¿Qué le parece si hacemos un ejercicio? Vamos a ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. Vamos a hacer algo. ¿Usted se acuerda del presente simple? Vamos a hacer algo súper, súper fácil. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, a ver, Rapín, ¿cuál es la estructura del presente simple? Ah. Mm. Soldier, bear. En complemento. Eh, en complemento o complemento. Ajá, complement, very good. Esa es la estructura, tan fácil como eso. Entonces, ok. Una pregunta muy común, súper fácil. What do you do every day? Bien. No le voy a poner tiempo, solo quiero que la conteste. Y luego yo voy a, vamos a ir analizando juntos, ¿ok? So, what do you do every day? What do you do every day? Uh, I... I wake up at 5 a.m. And then uh, take a shower. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And... Then the uh, close the my no why me visto no sé Lotis me visto okay sujeto uh -huh. verbo complemento I siempre voy a ocupar I ajá uh -huh. I floating my ajá empieza con G es un verbo frasal. I get the clothes. Ah, casi. I get dressed. Dressed, okay. I yes. get dressed. I get dressed. I, I go to the 
my my house. Mm. I go out. I go out my house. Mm -hmm. And 6 a.m. At the arrive the hospital in the six um, six thirty six thirty, I think. Yes. Good. Six forty, no, six forty, right? Six forty. Um. I I am then then um, sanita pro protocol the sanitation uh, I I proceed the uh, protocol the sanitation mm -hmm. and I uh, with the meet my college colegas and we proceed proceed or pro, proceed the the around the hospital and visit the the service and of the Review the patient and exams. Okay, let's go with this. Uy, Dios mío, vio. Gran dislexia. Oh, okay. Ah, no, me faltó la, la V. Okay. Dios mío. Okay. Let's see. Uh -huh. Usted misma me lo decía. Sujeto, verbo, verbo. complemento. Uh -huh. El complemento empieza aquí. At 5 a.m. I wake up at 5 a.m. And then, ahora bien. I take a shower. Ajá, después del conector, una coma, una pausa. I take a shower. Then, I get dressed and go out of my house. Se me decía, and go out my house. Faltaba la preposición aquí, que es en realidad parte de este verbo frasal. Go out of. Uh -huh. Salir de. Ok, go out of my house. At 6 a.m. Aquí. Uh -huh. Puedo poner un punto. I arrive. Hay verbos que llevan a ley la preposición to después de ellos. Como go to. Arrive to puede ser. Ok, I arrive to the hospital. Siempre antes de la hora solo voy a decir at. Okay. I arrive to the hospital at 6.40 a.m. And I then, si se puede, and, and I then proceed the protocol. with, okay. procedo con el protocolo de sanitización. And okay. then proceed with, I then proceed with the protocol. Ahora. A ver. Protocol. ¿Qué suena mejor? Okay. Okay. Sunny, sunny, sanitation, sanitization, sanitization. Okay. Ahora, ojo, todavía no escriba, porque eso hay que arreglarlo. A ver, y hasta a mí me está dando dolor de cabeza esa palabra porque es bien compleja. Sanitization. Vamos a ver. And I then proceed with the protocol of sanitization. Estoy pasando textual del español al inglés. El protocolo de sanitización. Cuando en inglés um, ocurre otra cosa. No es sanitization. De hecho es sanitizing protocol. Mm -hmm. Ojo. With the sanitizing protocol. Factor artículo. El protocolo de sanitización. Todo lo que califica al nombre va antes de él. Entre uh -huh. sanitizing y protocol, o sea, sanitizar y protocolo, 
¿Cuál es de mayor jerarquía en nuestra lengua? ¿Protocolo o sanitizar? Sanitizar. Protocolo no se usa mucho. No, o sea, me refiero a que, como le digo, eh, ¿a cuál de los dos puedo calificar? Puedo decir un... Protocolo de otra cosa. Ajá, puedo, eh, cabal, eso, ahí, ahí puedo, ajá. Hay protocolos de muchas cosas, pero sanitización, <ríe> solo hay una, es un proceso, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sanitización, bueno, no, puede haber sanitización antibacterial, sanitización, no, todo es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Todo es lo mismo, ok, ese es el punto, ese es el punto. Entonces, protocolo, lo que califica es que es de sanitización ese protocolo. Lo pongo antes, el artículo. El adjetivo sería sanitizar. And I greet. Creo que esto es muletilla. And I greet the colleagues. Colleagues. Uh -huh. I greet the colleagues. And we proceed around the hospital to do a round. So. Proceso. Lo único que usted hizo fue agregar un conector. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Uh -huh. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Uh -huh. Ojo, entonces si yo empiezo a practicar esto, Ada, ¿cree que podríamos avanzar más rápido? Yes, sí. you, yes you can. Entonces solo eso le dejo. Piénselo. Usted tiene mucho trabajo, yo lo sé, pero yo sé que también puede mejorar esto rápido. Muy inteligente. So, easy, fácil. Yo sé uh -huh. que usted puede. Le agradezco por su tiempo, por haberse quedado conmigo esta noche. Pues, falta bueno, baila, compañera. Good night, good night. Good night. Descanse, cuídense mucho. Bendiciones. Gracias, igual.